Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Audrey's reading area. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking that like button. Thank you for hitting that share button. And thank you for helping me shout out my grandbabies, Korea, Sanaa, David the Third, and Kaden. I love you. And I miss you guys so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. Always, always, always pray that I get to see you guys, you guys again soon. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. On this wonderful, terrific t-shirt Thursday, I have another fun and exciting book that I will be reading to you, just for you guys. And hopefully you go over onto YouTube, go to Audrey's Reading Area and smash that subscribe button for me, you guys. I'm almost there. I'm almost trying, trying, trying to get to a thousand. I'm almost there. I need a couple hundred more to get to a thousand. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and support. And thank you for listening to me read to you. Hopefully it encourages you to pick up a book on your own. Shout out to my friend Adriana. Much love, much love, lady. Adriana, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your help and your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Adriana W. So I'll be reading Cabbage Patch Kids, The Bicycle Race. Can you tell? The Bicycle Race, The Cabbage Patch Kids. It's a Parker Brothers storybook, story by Marilita Robinson, pictures by Leslie Moril. Moril, The Bicycle Race. Can already see that the pictures are awesome. The Bicycle Race. Story by Marileta or Marilita Robinson. Robinson. Pictures by Leslie Morel. Sybil Sadie. Sybil Sadie was standing guard at the secret entrance to the cabbage patch. Suddenly, she clapped her hands and jumped up and down. He's coming, y'all. I hear him. Xavier's coming. The cabbage patch kids dropped what they were doing and came running. In a moment, a boy gently pushed his way through the vine-covered entrance and found himself staring into a ring of smiling faces. <laughs> tell us a story, Xavier, says Raimi. I'll do better than that, said Xavier. I'll tell you about some real life goings on. You ever heard of a down-home party? The kids shook their heads, like, no. That's some kind of a get-together, a family celebration, isn't it? Asked Tyler Bo. Xavier grinned. That's right it is. They pack picnic lunches and play games and have races. I like the racing part, said Sybil Sadie. With prizes, Xavier said. Couldn't we have a down-home party here? It's all the little Cabbage Patch kids, except for him. Real guy. Sure, said Xavier. That's a wonderful idea. What kind of race could we have, Xavier, said Tyler Bow. Well, there are foot races, sack races, bike races. <laughs> bike races. Did I say, did I say bike races? <laughs> a bike race. That's it. The other children cried. Sounds like you're all set, said Xavier. I'd better be getting home, but don't worry, I'll be back. Let's get to work, said Bobby Jean. We'll need to make a list of the kinds of sandwiches we want. Bananas and honey, said Will Henry. <laughs> yum, yum, ugh, said ba Baby Dodd. Then Otis Lee said, let's go over to the castle of the Queen of the Bunny Bees and tell her about the race. <laughs> It's a delightful idea, the queen said. Please let me donate a prize for the winner of the race. At the edge of the patch, you will find a pony. That will be the prize. Sybil Sadie's eyes <gasps> grew wide as she thought about the pony. With luck, she could win it. The kids scrambled through the narrow passage to the hidden entrance of the queen's castle. Once outside, they ran to get their bikes. 
On her way out, Georgia Ann saw Dawson Glenn standing by himself with his hands stuck in his pockets. Why, what's the matter, Dawson Glenn, she said. Oh, uh, nothing, said Dawson Glenn. Only I know I can't ride as fast as the other kids. I might as well not even enter the old race. No. Oh. Dawson Glenn kicked a pebble and walked away slowly. Sybil Sadie came out, pushing her bike. What's the matter with Dawson Glenn, she asked. Georgia Ann told her what Dawson Glenn had said. We ought to help him learn to ride, she added. Sybil Sadie frowned. Not me, she said. I'll have to practice myself uh, if I'm going to win that pony. She wasn't willing to help, hmm, because she wanted to win. Let's see what happens. Otis Lee came out chuckling. You ought to see Dawson Glenn's bike, he said. It looks like it's been in a fight with a bulldozer. Couldn't we help him fix it, said Georgia Ann. Not me, said Otis Lee. I've got to work on my own bike if I'm going to win that race. Wow. Well, I'm going to help him, said Georgia Ann. And she rode off to find Dawson Glenn. Wow, isn't that nice of her? She's always offering to help him. These two aren't trying to help him. They just want to win themselves. It's called selfishness. Let's see. What would you do, guys? Would you help? You can help somebody fix up uh, their bike and learn to ride so that it could be a fair race and everybody could have fun and you can just pedal real hard if you wanted to win. There's nothing wrong with helping somebody. That's my opinion, and I think I'm right. The next day, Georgia Ann and Dawson Glenn practiced. When she picked him up from the ground and brushed the dirt off of him, she said, let's try it again. You almost got it this time, or that time. Otis Lee went zooming by. He felt good, but when he looked and saw Dawson Glenn sprawled in the dust, he felt a little less happy. Maybe he should have given Dawson Glenn a little bit of help. What do you guys think? That's right. As she sped down a hill, Sybil Sadie glanced over and saw Dawson Glenn trudging up a hill, pushing his bike. A little tight knot started to form in her stomach. It's no use, Georgia Ann, said Dawson Glenn. We've been practicing all day, and I still can't make it to the bottom of the hill without falling off. And anyway, my bike's in no shape for the race. I know, said Georgia Ann. If I could only find a wrench, maybe we could fix it. We just can't give up. Oh, What would you do? With this help, there stood Otis Lee holding out a wrench. I got to thinking, he said. No race and no pony is worth it if it makes my act if it makes me act ugly to my friends. that That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna read that again. I got to thinking, he said, no race and no pony is worth it if it makes me act ugly to my friends. Hmm, there go, that goes for me too, said Sybil Sadie smiling behind Otis Lee. Now Dawson Glenn, you come with me. I know some tricks that might help you. Hmm. And I'll see what I could do with this bike, said Otis Lee. And for the rest of the week, Sybil Sadie and Otis Lee took turns helping Dawson Glenn. Aw, how cool is that? That's what I'm talking about. At last the day arrived, the day of the down home party. The party was a great success. Everyone played games, ate their fill, and had a good time. Finally, it was time for the last event of the day, the big bicycle race. <laughs> wow. The Cabbage Patch Kids lined up their bikes at the starting line. Colonel Casey cl climbed up on a stump. Colonel Casey. Now, I reckon y'all know the rules for this race, he said. Three times around the cabbage patch, and the first one to, w to finish 
is the winner. If you fall off, get back on your bike and keep a going. Keep a going. Keep a going. <laughs> oh. Several kids looked at Dawson Glenn, who blushed and looked away. Otis Lee and Sybil say he looked at each other and tightened their grips on their handlebars. All right now, on your marks, get set, go! A cloud of dust rose as the riders took off. When it settled, Otis Lee saw that he was in the lead. Ducking his head into the wind, he pedaled as hard as he could. He could hear the other bikes getting closer, but he crossed the line ahead of the others. Two more laps to go, called Colonel Casey. Sybil Sadie's braids were flying straight out behind her as she crossed the line. Otis Lee was just ahead of her, hunched over his bike. She could hear the hum of his wheels. Leaning forward, she took a deep breath and began to pedal steadily and faster, faster. By the time they reached the starting line, the second time, she was in the lead. One more lap, called Co Colonel Casey. One more lap. Mm -mm. Dawson Glenn had started the race next to Georgia Ann. He didn't expect to win, but he was happy he could keep up with the others. Then, to his surprise, he pulled ahead of Georgia Ann and the other races one by one. <gasps> Now he was in third place. The wind blew in his face and the trees zipped by. He felt as if he were flying. Now he was even with Otis Lee. Now he was catching up with Sybil Sadie. Zoom, he crossed the finish line. The winner, shouted Colonel Casey, Dawson Glenn. Wow, wow. Dawson Glenn was the winner. Wow. The queen of the bunny bees was waiting in her throne room. The prize goes to Dawson Glenn, she said. Otis Lee felt disappointed, but if anyone had to beat him, he was glad that it was Dawson Glenn. Sybil said he thought about Dawson Glenn riding on the pony. If anyone had to beat her, she said she was glad it was he. Dawson Glenn whispered to the queen, Dawson Glenn wants me to announce that he wants all the rest of you kids to care for the pony too. Hooray for Dawson Glenn, Clit cheered the kids. Woo, 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 hooray, hooray. Because they were nice and they helped him out, he in turn was nice and shared his pony with them. Oh, shared his pony with them. Then Will Henry shouted, let's eat. And everyone cheered again. I'm always cheering for some food, won't you? Aren't you? Don't you? <laughs> Xavier brought out a strange contraption, a big wooden tub with a funny looking contraption on the top, which he said was an ice cream maker for the picnic. After the kids had eaten and enjoyed the delicious ice cream Xavier made, they all went to find the pony. Sybil said he fed it an apple and all the kids admired it. Finally, they all lay back to watch the clouds turn pink over the cabbage patch. It's been a wonderful down-home party, thought Georgia Ann. She smiled down at Baby Dodd, who had fallen asleep in her lap. A real family celebration. Aww. The end. And it tells you the gold mine, Lavendar's house, Kudzu, Blue Hole, Mount Yona, Castle of the Queen of the Bunny Bees, The Patch, Kudzu, Entrance to the Cave, I guess behind that waterfall. Wow. Beautiful story. I hope you guys had fun listening to me read this fun and exciting book, Cabbage Patch Kids, The Big Bicycle Race. Hope you guys had fun listening. So don't forget, you guys, to click that like button, hit that share button, then go on over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button there at Audrey's Reading Area. Audrey's Reading Area. Audrey's Reading Area. 
Mwah, mwah, mwah. Much love. Shout out to all of you guys. And thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for telling everybody about Audrey's Reading Area. I know you guys like to hear some good stories. So continue listening. And don't forget, at least once a week, pick up a book and read it. Maybe I'll be listening. You never know. You can read to me one day. I will see you again tomorrow live. L I V E. Live at 8, you guys. I will see you tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only one day away. Audrey's reading area.